Alright, this is a tutorial video for how to add uh, contacts to your contact list or let's say if someone gave you uh, their email, you can save their email in your contacts so that when you want to send them an email you don't have to keep typing in their email address over and over again. So the first thing we want to do, we want to come over here where it says contacts. It's right under mail, right here, and we're going to click on contacts. When we click on that, it takes us right here. Okay, this is the contacts section. And what you want to do is you want to click on new contacts. Okay, so take your mouse and click on new contact. And now it has us set up to add someone to our contact list. Okay, so if you notice right here, it's highlighted in blue. And this is where you're going to type in the name of the person you're adding to your contact list. Now, it's already highlighted, so that means we don't have to press anything. We just have to type in the person's name. Okay? So I'm going to uh, add my friend to my contacts, my friend Larry. Okay? And I'm going to hit enter. And now, if you see that, he saved right there as Larry okay so now I can type in any information I want to be under his contact okay so I'm gonna go to email and I'm gonna click in that box and I'm gonna type in Larry's email his email is kinda funny it's slow clap starter at yahoo.com the cool part about this is you don't have to fill in all this information you don't have to put in their phone number address birthday you can if you want to um, and there's a little box on the right over here that says add a note so I met Larry at one of the places I used to work so so I can remember which Larry this is I'm gonna type in Larry from the park because that's where I met him in a park so after I type that in I have his email here I have his name and that's really all I need if you want to put in more information it's totally up to you um, click on add and you can pick some other information like nickname company whatever not too important um, the last thing you want to do to finish it to make sure it's saved is come over here where it says save and you know what gmail actually has a new feature where they save your information automatically so um, I don't even have to click here it's already has him saved in my contacts and the way I can check to make sure it's in there I'm gonna click on contacts right here and there he is Larry slow clap starter at yahoo.com okay now uh, real quick the reason why it's cool to save people in your contacts is because when we wanna go and and send an email there's a quick way to pull up that person's name without having to type in the whole email address. I'm going to show you right now. You're going to go back to where it says mail up here. Right above contacts it says mail. Click right here. And I'm going to click on compose mail because I want to send Larry an email. So I click on that. And now it sets me up to write an email. So normally if I wanted to send Larry an email, I have to type in his whole email address, slowclapstarter at yahoo.com. But um, this time, since he's already in my contacts, all I have to do is type in his name. And as I start typing his name, look what happens. This little box comes up and it has his email already there for me. So guess what? All I have to do is take the mouse and click right here and it adds him in there for me already so I just saved all that time so now whenever I want to send Larry an email I just type in his name it's gonna pop up watch I'm gonna do it again for you it pops up right here and I click and it's gonna add him right into the email so now I can type a subject and type the body and then bam my email is sent right to Larry so that's in a nutshell that's how you add a contact to your um, contact list and that's why you know that's why it's a cool thing to do It'll make your life easier you can save all your contacts on the computer you don't have to worry about finding that piece of paper where you wrote it down alright hope that was helpful have a good one